Hello YouTubers. I got a fella asked me to do an update on the anvil. So we're going to give you a couple of pics here. This is uh, the anvil after a year of playing around with it. Let's see if we'll get focused in here. Now that crack was in it and it hasn't widened out any. It has a few dings and a good chunk there. I was wailing away and hit the side so it definitely is a little softer than the than the rest of the anvil although I got a good chunk in that one too but all in all it's uh, holding up well so there's your update now for uh, anybody that's interested in a 60 gallon Sanborn compressor this is uh, how I hook mine up. It doesn't count, it comes with a little uh, drain on the bottom. I'll show you what it looks like. That's what you get on the bottom of your bottom of the tank to drain the water out. And I'll show you the feet of the There's the feet. So I got it up on blocks, pieces of two by four that it actually came on, and a three quarter inch pieces of three quarter inch mat. In order to uh, add the little rig I got there to drain it, I'll see you underneath there. See if I can find the light. I think we can see it though. Let's see here. Anyway, it's just an elbow, and it comes out of the bottom, and then you just add the pipe and a shut-off valve. And you don't have to get down on your stomach to blow the water out of it. Let's have a look-see here. Hard to see this. water in there now. So I added that to it and I put an elbow in, raised up a, raised an airline up so that I wouldn't interfere with the rest of the tank. There's my pressure control for the lines. And I got a triple line on here. This line, this line goes to uh, an oiler and a water filter. This line here goes to a dryer. I run my plasma cutter off it. And this line is just a, I got a blower stuck on it. So if I need to do any blowing around, I use that. Any tools, I use the wet line with the oiler on it. And it uh, goes up across the ceiling. Comes out right there. You can see the oiler and the filter there and then it goes down to a to a reel. There's a reel got 75 feet of line I can take it right out to the front of the house or into the house if I want to run a gun. The other line comes across the ceiling and hooks into that big dryer there. You can see the yellow dryer in the background and then goes into my plasma cutter down here. And the only other thing I did, the old, uh, my old compressor had a magnetic starter so I hooked it back up to the magnetic starter. But it doesn't come with any of that so just be aware when you buy it you gotta get your your air regulators and your filters and whatnot depending on what you're doing with it. And what else? Oh yeah, don't forget to break it in. When you first buy it, they tell you to break it in. What you do is you, it comes with a plug here. You undo your plug, leave it open, turn your machine on, and let it run for a half an hour. Just blow an air out. Once you're done, drain your oil. Make sure there's no uh, metal chips in it. 
put no oil in it and you're good to go. No problem. So there you go. Plan B is in effect. And it works great. It runs my grind my uh, my little fat max die grinders and my runs the sander. It charges up a little more than it should, but nothing serious. Not like my little rig that I had before. And if I'm doing any uh, nailing around the the hose, I got this little pancake rig I picked up off of Kijiji for 25 bucks. It had a broken broken gauge on it. And uh, what else did I put on? It was a little plug, a little seal there. And I fixed it up and it works like a charm. So there you go. So we'll catch you on the flip side, YouTubers. Bye for now.